investigations are like a puzzle. You know, you're trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together to get an answer. We searched all in this area over here. At this point, I feel the killers are among us. We're working on a story about Jamie Mayberry. You can get off my property right now, that's what you can do. Did you know that Kennedy get police are looking for you? Before I use force. We were just suspicious of everything, everybody. You don't know who to trust. That family hurts. It's not okay to leave that case hanging no matter how long it takes to solve it. From KXAN News and Nexstar Media Group, this is Catalyst, a weekly investigative podcast. I'm your host, Josh Hinkle, and this season on Catalyst. Ah, Kennedy, back then, everybody knew everybody. Yeah. In a small town, they're not used to it, being openly gay. But you couldn't even tell that he was a man. And I told him I thought that was pretty dangerous. The files now, they're discombobulated. Here it is. <gasps> Found it. All right. James Jamie Mayberry. These are the original case notes. Yeah. He was last uh, seen leaving his home with an unknown male on April 1st of 1999. He started hitting on Jamie, and once the cousin told him, you know that's a guy, he pulled out a knife. When did you first realize that he wasn't coming home? After a few hours passed, we ended up calling the law enforcement at that time. They didn't want to deal with this because of the way Jamie was. Because he was uh, the, the homosexual, and I think he was brushed under the table, you know, almost as if I want this to stay buried. It's that very short window of, of time you have. You need to talk to witnesses, you need to talk to the neighbors. Hello. We're working on a story about a missing persons case. 1999, Jamie Mayberry. Mayberry. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Police never came and asked any money. He didn't come by and talk to me or anything. With the resources that were here at that time, they did what they could. They even brought in the Texas Rangers back then. I'm just thinking it might be because Kennedy's a small town. The bad thing is that getting called in, you know, after the fact is kind of tough, makes it harder. What went wrong in the days after Jamie Mayberry disappeared? Our search for answers eventually led us across Texas through more than 5,000 active missing persons cases and a patchwork of police and public systems falling short. The public is the key here. NamUs is a great tool that most people should know about. NamUs is the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. The program is operated here in Fort Worth. It's a database where you can connect missing people with located bodies that haven't been identified. We've had family members of missing persons come into the NamUs database, search through the unidentified decedents, and essentially solve their own cases. It's not a requirement to enter missing persons into NamUs in the state of Texas. If I thought that we, we being law enforcement in Texas, were not participating in a meaningful manner, then, then I think it would be necessary for us to pass legislation that would require it. I appreciate you bringing this to us. Our investigation now has state leaders looking at how law enforcement can share more information faster in a way that lets people like you and me possibly help. But it's also prompted police in Jamie Mayberry's hometown to take a closer look at his case. There is one person we would like to talk to, I believe, who, who I would characterize as a witness. Until I can actually sit down and visit with this individual to really see, okay, you said this back then, what really did happen? This is where, where we're stuck at. Sometimes it takes a little elbow grease to try to track people down, and sometimes they're hiding in plain sight. Jamie Mayberry, wondered if you might know him. You can get off my property right now, that's what you can do. Okay. Did we you have a right to bear arms, and I'm not scared to use them, so get off my property right now. Josh sent me a video of the encounter, and I watched it, and I had to watch it a couple times because I was like, I can't believe this happened. Mm -hmm. You know that people are just keeping secrets and you think, how do they sleep at night? In this small community, how can a person be missing like that and no one knows nothing? New episodes of Catalyst are available Monday mornings starting April 29th. There's times that it takes longer to solve a, a cold case like this. Now, would it happen here in Kennedy? Anything's possible. Mm -hmm.